In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to connect an external monitor to your Chromebook. So, if you have a Chromebook, but you feel like the one little built-in screen isn't quite enough, you can actually connect an extra monitor to it, or even two extra monitors if you want. Or, you could even close your Chromebook and just have it connected to one or two extra monitors with an external mouse and keyboard to have a real desktop experience. The first thing you'll need to do to connect your Chromebook to an external monitor is obviously plug it in, and this can often be the hardest part because different monitors and different Chromebooks can have different ports. So you kind of have to look at your monitor and look at your Chromebook and figure out a way to get the two of them connected. So if you look at the back of your monitor, there might be multiple different ports to choose from, but one of those ports would probably be an HDMI port, and if your monitor has an HDMI port, that will really be the best option. Some older Chromebooks will actually have an HDMI port on the side somewhere, and if that's the case, this will be really easy, because you can just get an HDMI cable, plug one end into your Chromebook, and plug the other end into your monitor. But most likely, with an even somewhat modern Chromebook, your Chromebook won't have an HDMI port. Instead, it will have a USB-C port. So, if your Chromebook only has a USB-C port, you'll need to either get a USB-C to HDMI adapter, or a USB-C hub with an HDMI port on it. A USB-C hub can actually be really handy because you can set up everything so that you just plug one cable into your Chromebook and your monitor and mouse and everything will work. And some hubs will even charge your Chromebook at the same time. Or if you want to connect two external monitors to your Chromebook, you can actually get a USB-C to dual HDMI adapter to plug in two HDMI cables into the one USB-C port. Or you can get a USB-C hub with multiple HDMI ports on it. Or if your Chromebook has multiple USB-C ports, which most do, you could actually connect maybe a USB-C hub to one of the ports and a USB-C to HDMI adapter into the other port. And then you could connect two monitors with just a normal USB-C hub and HDMI adapter. But if you don't really need any of that, and you just want to keep things simple and cheap, a single USB-C to HDMI adapter like this would do the job and connect your monitor to your Chromebook just fine. So that's the most likely scenario, but if your monitor doesn't have an HDMI port, it's most likely an older monitor, and instead it probably has a VGA port. HDMI is better than VGA, so if your monitor has both ports, you'll definitely want to use the HDMI port. But if it only has a VGA port, you can either get a VGA to HDMI adapter and then plug the adapter into the HDMI port on your Chromebook or into the HDMI port on a USB-C hub or USB-C to HDMI adapter and then connect the VGA to HDMI adapter to your monitor with a VGA cable. Or if your Chromebook has a USB-C port, which it probably does, and you don't want to buy two different adapters, you can actually get a USB-C to VGA adapter or a USB-C hub with a VGA port on it. So these two ports are probably the most common. If your monitor is reasonably modern, it will probably have an HDMI port, or if it's quite old, it might have a VGA port. But some fairly obscure monitors might not actually have either. They might only have a display port or a mini display port or a mini HDMI port or something else like that. But if your monitor only has one of those more obscure ports, it's basically the same story. You can either get an adapter from HDMI to whatever port you need or an adapter from USB-C to whatever port you need. But whatever adapters and cables you need, once you've got whatever you need for your Chromebook and monitor, you're ready to go ahead and connect it. 
So, Timmy's doing what would probably be the most likely scenario with an HDMI monitor and a USB-C Chromebook. So, Timmy's going with a basic USB-C to HDMI adapter and a HDMI cable. So, now we'll just need to plug the USB-C to HDMI adapter into the USB-C port on the Chromebook and then get one end of the HDMI cable and plug it into the HDMI port on the adapter and then plug the other end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI port on the monitor. And now, with some monitors, when you first plug them in, you might have to press a button down here or something to get it to turn on. But once it's on, you're pretty much ready to go. As you'll see, you should now be seeing your Chromebook's desktop appear on the monitor. But there are a few settings you'll probably want to tweak on your Chromebook. So, if we click on the app launcher icon down here and look for the settings app, here it is here, and open up settings, you'll need to scroll down a bit until you get to device here, and then under device, click on displays down here, and now you'll be in the display settings for your Chromebook. And as you can see, the built-in screen and the external monitor are both functioning as two separate screens. So you have two different things showing on each of them. The external monitor's just showing the desktop, but it could have another app if you put an app on it. And the built-in screen currently is showing the settings app. And this is probably the best way to have it set because it gives you the full advantage of having two separate screens. So you can do a lot more and you can put different things on each one of them. But if for some reason you want them to have the same thing on them, you can actually set it so that the external monitor will just mirror everything that's on your Chromebook's built-in screen. So if you want to do that, you just need to come in here to the display settings and click this mirror built-in display box to tick that. And now, as you can see, the monitor and the Chromebook screen are showing exactly the same thing. So, if you move the mouse around, you'll see the mouse on both of them, and the settings app is open on both of them, and everything's exactly the same. So, if you want to do that, you can, but Timmy's going to leave this box unticked, and if you leave the box unticked so that the monitors show two separate things, there are a few other settings you want to configure to make sure everything's working properly. As you'll see in here, there are these two rectangles, and these rectangles actually represent the two separate screens. So, this one over here is the Chromebook screen, and this one is the external monitor, but as you'll see, they're actually sitting the wrong way around on the screen to how they are in real life. So, basically, the Chromebook thinks it's sitting over here, not over there. So, when it's like this, if you wanted to move your mouse cursor from the built-in display to the external monitor, you would actually have to move it all the way to the right-hand side here until it disappears off the side of the screen there, and then it will appear on the left-hand side of the monitor. So you could do that if you want and sort of work around it, but it's just kind of a bit weird and confusing. So what you really want to do is click on one of the monitors and drag it around so that the two screens are actually positioned on the screen here the way they are in real life. So, because the Chromebook is sitting on this side of the monitor, we'll position it this way. So, as you can see, when you click here, that's showing that's the monitor. And if you click here, that's the built-in display. So. Now they're about positioned the way they really are in real life. So, if we want to move the cursor from the built-in built monitor on the Chromebook to the external monitor, we would just drag across like this, and it would appear on the external monitor, as though it's just sort of one big screen. So, just doing that simple thing makes it a lot easier to use two monitors, 
And now, if you wanted the settings app on the external monitor, you would come back in here and just drag it across like that. And now the settings app is on the external monitor. And that's pretty much the main thing. But if we scroll down here a bit, there are a few more settings you might want to tweak. So as you can see, we're in the built-in display settings now, and you probably don't want to change that because you don't want to mess with your Chromebook's built-in display. But if we click over here, to get the settings for the external display, you'll have a few options here that you might want to change. The biggest one is probably display size here. So depending on the size of your monitor and the resolution and how far away from it you're sitting and things like that, you might find everything on there is too big or too small. So you can click and drag this slider to change the proportions of everything on the monitor. So if you wanted to do that, you could, or if it was too small, you would drag it over this way and make it as big as you can. So it's really all down to personal preference, but you can just fiddle around with this until you get it the way you want it. And the other thing that there's a small chance you might want to change is the orientation here. When you're just doing something basic like this with a normalish monitor sitting here, you won't want to fiddle with this. But if you were doing something more elaborate with an external monitor sitting up on its side or upside down or something, you could come in here and change the orientation so that everything on the monitor looks correct. So if we click here and change that to 90 degrees, now everything's tipped on its side. And because this monitor is not tipped on its side, it's now making everything kind of hard to read. But if your monitor was tipped on its side, that would actually make it correct. But we'll change that back to zero degrees so that it looks correct. And that's really all there is to the settings. That's really all you might need to change. So we'll go ahead and close that. But when you're using an external monitor with your Chromebook, you don't necessarily have to have your Chromebook open if you don't want to. You could actually close your Chromebook and then connect an external keyboard and mouse to it and then basically use your Chromebook as a desktop computer. So Timmy prefers to have Timmy's Chromebook open because then it gives you the advantage of two screens. But if you don't really feel the need to have that, and you just want to have everything from your Chromebook on a bigger screen so you can use it like a desktop, you can shut the lid of your Chromebook and use a keyboard and mouse and use it just like a desktop computer. If you do this, there will actually be no way to put it to sleep because you would normally put a Chromebook to sleep by shutting the lid. So instead you really just have to walk away from it and wait for it to fall asleep. But apart from that, it really is a fully functioning Chromebook desktop computer. And finally, if your Chromebook has USB-C ports, you can actually connect multiple monitors to it. Unfortunately, if your Chromebook is a bit old and it doesn't have any USB-C ports, it only has one HDMI port, you will only be able to connect one monitor. But if you have a more modern Chromebook with USB-C ports, there are actually two different ways that you can connect monitors to it. The best option will probably be to use a USB-C to dual HDMI adapter or a USB-C hub with two HDMI ports. That way you can plug two monitors into one USB-C port. Or if your Chromebook has multiple USB-C ports, which a lot of them do, you could just get two USB-C to HDMI adapters, or perhaps one USB-C to HDMI adapter and one USB-C hub, and then you could plug one into each port. Just keep in mind, most modern Chromebooks can actually only be charged through their USB-C port. So if your Chromebook only has two USB-C ports and you plug monitors into both of them, you won't be able to charge it at the same time. And with two external monitors connected, 
your Chromebook battery will probably go flat pretty quickly. So, if you're going to use both your Chromebook's USB-C ports, ideally at least one of those USB-C ports will have a USB-C hub that supports power pass-through. That way the hub can actually charge your Chromebook while you're using your two monitors. But for this demonstration, Timmy's just going to go with a simple two single USB-C to HDMI adapters like this and plug one into each of the two USB-C ports on Timmy's Chromebook. So we'll plug one in there and one in there and then just plug one HDMI cable into each adapter. And now when we wake up the Chromebook and log into it, now we have all of these monitors working. So you can close the Chromebook if you want and just have two external monitors or you can have the Chromebook open and have actually three screens in total. But whatever you want to do, you now have two external monitors connected to your Chromebook. So you might want to go back into the settings app and make sure everything's arranged correctly so that you can move the mouse cursor between the screens and everything. And as you can see, this new monitor, it has everything on it looking a lot smaller than this monitor. So you'd want to go in and change that with the slider to me showed you before. But once you've gone in and tweaked those few settings, you now will be good to go with two external monitors connected to your Chromebook. But that's all there is to using an external monitor with your Chromebook. Sorry it's so long, kind of took a while explaining all the different connections and everything, but hopefully you're able to follow along and get your monitor connected and set up the way you want it. And Tamil, see you in the next video.